We're doing big things in house buildings. What is up, house billings fam? We are back with another episode. It is one of my favorite days. It's delivery day. I just got all the notifications that stuff got delivered. It is a massive delivery because we have a bunch of things going on. If you haven't been following along, make sure hit that subscribe button right now and then do yourself a favor. Make sure you click on that little bell up there so you're notified when the new videos come out. Uh, we got a bunch of things going on. Like I said, we are working today on building a new planted pond that we're going to be using for the cycle to steal the water for our other tanks. We just finished up our pool pond, which is really cool. That's down in the basement. We have some turtle ponds coming up. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. So first thing we got to do, let's go check the packages. Here's the mail. It never fails. Makes me want to wag my tail. Mail. Wow, we got a lot. I am excited. Let us see what we got. You excited over there, boy? Yeah. Nice. Whoa, look what we got, Gray. We got like bubble things. Yeah, you can have those. Perfect. All right, so. Ah, we got our nice big filter. That is gonna be for our planted tank. We got some test strips because we had run out. Got some more quick start. We got our heater. This is perfect. So this is for one of our uh, ponds that we got going. Oh, all right, perfect. So this is what we were waiting for. So we ordered the Python system or the uh, aquarium maintenance system. So it does everything from draining out your water to do water changes to filling them. So we ordered some cool plants. Those will be here in a few days. We're gonna set up the tank in the meantime. And we went with this, the fluorite black substrate. I uh, had really good recommendations. Thank you, George, for giving us the background noise over there. So we got two bags of that. We have a 20 gallon tank that we're gonna be setting up for the uh, planted tanks. So that should be more than enough. This tank, like I said, this is going to be a cycling tank. We are gonna put plants in it, so it's gonna be a live planted tank. Probably put a few fish in there, just some small things. But what we are going to do is once this is established, we're gonna be using this water in any of the new tanks that we start up. It's gonna help that nitrogen cycle. So I mentioned in my last video, if you didn't check that out, make sure you do now, uh, that we were going to talk about the nitrogen cycle because it is something super important if you are gonna get into doing aquariums and it's something that we take seriously. So the nitrogen cycle, I'm gonna keep it really brief for this one, is basically three steps. It's what happens when your fish your tank starts to get established. When you add fish into it, uh, fish waste and fish food are gonna release ammonia. That ammonia is gonna then turn into nitrites and the nitrates into nitrates. So the ammonia and the nitrites are both deadly to your fish and that's what will kill them if you have higher levels of that. So the point of doing a cycle is to make sure that once you start adding the fish that that doesn't happen so that the beneficial bacteria has already been created and we've already established a safe environment for them. So there are two ways you can cycle a tank. Um, they do recommend one over the other obviously for many reasons. So if you do it with fish, which is the one that's really not recommended, you wanna use fish that are a little bit stronger and can survive some of those elements. So you'd be looking at like your tiger barbs, uh, your minnows, your guppies, those type of things. Even gouramis are really good. So we did one for my son and we uh, cycled it with fish and we did all of those. Every single one of them survived and the cycling process actually went through pretty quickly. So there are some things you can do to kind of speed up the process a little bit. I highly recommend this quick start. It says you can instantly add fish. I still wouldn't add them instantly. I would still make sure you test the water, make sure the levels are good. Um, the other big thing is adding live plants. The live plants will help to eat some of the nitrites as well. So super important. The process can take anywhere from two weeks to two months. Just depends how well you're keeping up with it. You want to make sure to do frequent water changes. Uh, if you are doing it with fish, what you want to do is just feed them once every two days. Just small amounts so they don't produce too much waste. You also want to do uh, water changes pretty much every two to three days as well. Small amounts like 10 to 20% if that. Um, the more recommended way is without fish. 
How do you do that without fish, you ask? Well, simple. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna be putting in small amounts of food as if you were feeding them, but more frequently. You're gonna be doing it about every 12 hours. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna start that process even without the fish in there. Uh, and you'll start again, you're just gonna keep testing the water, doing some water changes, and once you get your nitrites and ammonia down to zero ppm, which is parts per, parts per million, uh, then your water is safe. So again, back to the tank. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get the substrate in here next, uh, we're going to start to fill it, get the filter in. The plants that we ordered probably won't be here till tomorrow or the next day. So we're going to start the cycling process anyways, put the plants in there. And, and then so once they're in there, it's going to speed it up. And, and honestly, this tank should be good to go in probably less than a week, I would say. Hey, good girl. What are you doing, old lady? Come to say hi to everybody. Can you shake? Oh, thank you. Good girl. So we got the substrate here. So this is what we went with product called Fluorite Black. Do me a favor, comment below if you guys have used this or let me know of anything you guys have used in some of your live tanks. I want to know, you know, what has gone well and if you know anything that hasn't gone well, please let me know that as well. So comment below and let me know. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. So first impression of it, I really like the black. Um, I like the texture of it. So it's like a porous clay, they said, material. So uh, it really feels like that. It's kind of light, but I really like how it looks. I would say, and from what I've heard, usually go you know a little bit lower in the front and higher in the back. Just it will have a nicer look once you get the tank all set up. So this stuff can be used in anything. You can use this in all regular aquariums or your planted aquariums. Uh, some really good key points about this specific brand. Uh, it will help keep the pH balance nice. It actually helps to absorb the any fish food that is laying around and it goes right into the gravel. So it will keep the tank nice and clean. It doesn't get, you know, all foggy like normal. This also does not have to be replaced. So this will last the life of your tank, which is really cool. So it's not gonna die out. Filter good. Son, some of that. Look at that action. What up? Let's get some water going up in this place. <laughs> Quick little funny story. I don't know if you guys noticed all the uh, little girly things sitting around here. So we're in my daughter's room for this tank. We have some tanks in my son's room. We got tanks in the basement. We're doing big things in house billings. That's how we do. Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna get tanks all up in this house. Wherever we gotta put them, we're putting them. All right, guys. So we got the Python Aquarium Maintenance System. Uh, like I said before, this came highly recommended. I, I, I'm tired, like I'm sure some of you that have done it, I'm tired of using the buckets and making a mess. So this is supposed to avoid all of that. This is for filling uh, a new tank. It's for vacuuming out. It is for doing your water, uh, water changes as well. Yeah, so this is gonna be a cool tank for plants. And we'll put a little bit of fish in here. So as you can see guys, super, super uh, smoky and dusty water from this stuff. Um, so definitely gotta let it settle for a few hours and then I'll turn the filter on. Billings fam, we are back. So it has been a couple of days since we left off with this planted tank. The last thing you saw, we were filling it up with water. It was getting a little cloudy, which is normal with this substrate. So we had to leave it for about, I'd say about 48 hours before it started to really clear up, which is fine. We had a million other things going on. Tank is looking great. So I wanna show you a couple of things that we've done since then and then continue moving on. We still don't have the plants yet, but we're gonna get everything else set up and we're gonna take those rosy barbs and put them into this. So let's take a look. So water is looking great, guys. Like crystal clear, absolutely beautiful in there. Now, since you we left off, the filter has been running. Um, I am actually going to swap that filter out. It is a great filter. It's a little too loud and it actually doesn't do everything we want. So I did go and grab the Aqua Clear. Um, this one does up to, I believe, 50 gallons, which is great. And this gives the three stages of filtration. 
So I, I just, I really like that one more for the planted tank. So we are gonna swap that out. So we're gonna get this set up, throw it right in the tank. And we're gonna take that one off. We're gonna use that one on, I believe, our new huge pool for Fred. Where's Fred? Fred, you hiding? Uh, Fred's in there somewhere. So if you guys have been following along, Fred is awesome. This tank keeps getting way too dirty and it is still too small, even though it's like four times the size of his old one. So we have a new pool that is ginormous. We have it set up down cellar and we'll be moving on to that video very soon. There we go, looks nice in place, nice and level. It is very important with this type of filter, this AquaClear, that it stays level, it says, so it does have a little key on the bottom. They actually turn, and if it is tilted a little bit, it will correct itself. We got power. Hey, we got a flow. Slowly, it's coming. There we go, look at that, beautiful. All right, the rosy barbs are in. Looking good guys, you got plenty of space. So, loving this tank, honestly, as soon as the plants are set, I really think this is gonna be one of my favorite tanks. It is just beautiful in there. Guess what's here? Plants are here! I, I gotta stop doing that, I gotta stop showing that. Again, I gotta erase it, in case any of you weirdos see my address. Plants came! Let's go! So, tank doing great, Rosie Bob's doing great. Gotta get the plants in the tank. So we can finish up. I didn't go crazy with this order. I got about five different plants, some super easy. Most of them are actually really easy. I just wanna see how they take. It's the first time ordering from here. We are gonna give him a shout out though because everything came great, easy communication. The place that we ordered it from is called Jacob's Aquarium. We'll link it down below. I'll probably even tag him on there. You never know, maybe he'll reach out to us. So super, super excited. Uh, you can see my fishing pole is here because I do have one that we gotta anchor down so I'm gonna use the fishing line to do that. Gonna get these bad boys in there. Let's go! All right, so we got some Java moss, guys. This is one of the easiest plants. You can pretty much anchor it to anything. I don't have my driftwood ready yet because we're actually gonna be making our own. Side note, pay attention for that because that is gonna be a really cool video that we are doing and uh, you're not gonna wanna miss that. So we are doing our own driftwood. It's not gonna be ready for a while. I don't have any rocks lying around, so I'm actually gonna just use this guy. We've never used him before. Yeah, I had him laying around, so we'll throw that in there. Maybe the fish will like it, but hopefully that stuff will grow like crazy. I wouldn't mind seeing a nice little carpet of that stuff right across there. So the Java moss is in. Got it anchored down to that. I like that. Hopefully it'll carpet this way somewhere or grow a little bit more so we can take pieces off. And Second one we got is this. It's called Amazon Sword. Nice tall one. We're going to put that a little bit towards the back. Hopefully that will have plenty of room to grow back there and a nice amount of light back there as well. So let's get the Amazon sword thrown in. Next guy we got is called Broadleaf Sag. And this is gonna go somewhere right in the front, I think. Shouldn't get too, too big. Uh, I really like the look of this. That's kind of why I chose this. So let's get this sucker thrown in. All right, I really like that. That looks nice. This is coming together beautifully. Pretty pumped. I think I might need to put the roots in a little bit more. It was just kicking up some of the dust, so didn't want to push too hard. All right, all right, all right. So the last two that we had got, I threw in already. So we got some Hygro Wisteria, and we got a Java Fern. I'm not gonna lie, the Java Fern doesn't look like it's doing that great. I'm gonna try and see if we can bring that back to life. So there you go, guys. We have got our planted tank. It looks gorgeous. This thing is going to stick around for a long time. We'll reference it a lot. We're definitely going to build more because this is great, but we will add some more plants on. We will be stealing this cycled water for some of the other tanks that we keep going with. So stay tuned for that. Now, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button right now. Go up top. Hit that bell, please, so you can stay tuned. We got some really cool things coming. We did an awesome hike just the other day. We filmed filmed it. We got some driftwood. We're going to show you how to make your own driftwood, which is really, really cool. We have a huge, huge downstairs pond that we are finally going to put Fred in and get him into something that is way more comfortable for him and give him plenty of room before we can do the outside pond, which, hey, almost time. It's starting to get warm. I love it. I love it. Other than today, it was a crappy day out, but other than today, it's been really warm. So again, appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. I will see you next time.